Hello guys, greetings from Jar Design Crew. So today I will try to make a flight from Munich Airport to Wien Airport, Schwehat Airport with uh, Jar Design F320 and the main thing is uh, with XLife Jar Design plugin. This is the early and better like developer version of XLife plugin. And if you are airport developer, center developer, you can try how XLife plugin work with your ATC taxi roads. Spoilers arm. I just loaded at Munich Airport. Spoilers disarm. Now I want to change my gate to, uh, for example, maybe. One one two. I'm selected. Park brake off. Park brake on. And set park brake on. If I use demo version like now, I can fly uh, between three airports: Munich, uh, Wien, and Nice. Uh, when I click map, I will see uh, the map of these three airports. Now I want to start to use this plugin in demo mode. After clicking, you need to wait several seconds uh, while all data is uh, loaded. Okay, now I think I want uh, some ground power and maybe a fuel too. Battery 1, battery 2, and external power. Oh, I should note what this flight will be without any procedure and without any checklist. Uh, this flight just uh, to show you how X-Life works. I want to get about 6.5 uh, ton of fuel. Now it's time to prepare a uh, sound flight plan and to send it to ATC and to aircraft. Our departure is Munich and our arrival airport is Wien, Schwehat. And our flight level will be around 3.00. Next I click Generate uh, and we get a ECAL format flight plan. And now I am sent uh, this flight plan direct to my aircraft. And also I should send this flight plan to ATC. Okay, let's close this flight plan window. When I click export flight plan, I send my ECAO format flight plan direct to aircraft. Uh, this time it may be uh, A320 or a 30 by JAR Design, but uh, this data is open, is free, and uh, any aircraft uh, in future uh, may read this data and may get this uh, generated plan. As you see, our uh, ICAO format flight plan read OK. I enter uh, cruise flight level, and enter another data. Okay, I want to check weather and uh, check borrow settings. And I need just set it properly uh, if I control unit. And zero, three, two. Okay, now. Next, uh, we may contact Muni Delivery and get clearance, get runway and uh, get our departure. So we're ready to enter this uh, runway 26 left and departure uh, direct to flight management guidance system. Uh, 
Okay, I want to request uh, engine start clearance now. Oh, so I need to connect to ground. Okay, I have an engine start clearance. And starting engine one. I will starting use, engine two. I will use just hot start button. Some takeoff performance. Set initial altitude. Oh, this is the blue sky star. Great sound. I love it. Some another preparation. No more need APU. Turn lights on. Spoilers arm. Flaps one. Flaps two. I'm ready to request taxi. Okay, we have a taxi road. It's very hard to remember this, but I want to use follow me car. Follow me car is separate plugin, and when I Arc request when I request follow me car uh, from Xlife plugin, um, ATC just sent needed data to for me car plugin, and if you have it installed, it will work. This time I prefer not use pushback, but just taxi out from this gate. Okay, my full me car waiting me. Hmm, ground traffic in Munich is danger. I'm just open for my car airport map. Uh, we expect left turn, I think.
as I see now, no a big stack for takeoff. Uh, one aircraft just waited, holding short, and one aircraft uh, landing. Two aircraft wait at holding short. Park brake on. I'm seeing another aircraft at navigation display, and I think, yes, another aircraft uh, ready for landing. So we should wait. This one just airborne and this one just ready for landing. While we wait, I want to open uh, settings menu of XLive plugin. I just turn on the aircraft markers. There is uh, some information about aircraft. And this is information about airports, about aircraft, about runways, aircraft number, air aircraft flight phase. Park break off. And now we should say to ADC, say to tower, what we are arrival to holding point, runway holding point. And now we should wait here. Okay, we just get clearance to lining up runway, so we should li line up runway and wait.
we clear it for takeoff. Bring back, takeoff. Knots. V1, rotate. Positive climb. Autopilot 1, cross check. Gear up. ADC say what we should contact approach. Approach, we need contact. Okay, we have clearance to climb flight level 70. Speed check. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps zero. Traffic, traffic. Oh, we have traffic alert. Traffic, traffic. I will do nothing. Traffic, traffic. I'm Russia. Clear of conflict. Okay, we clear to climb our cruise flight level. Let's set it at flight control unit. Three zero zero cruise flight level. Read back. Okay. Standard Barrow cross check. Passing flight level zero six two. We continue climb. See you at cruise flight level. We are at cruise flight level and we are close to top of descent and a time to contact center and report top of descent. Okay, we should descend to flight level 110 and expect runway 16 with this arrival. I won't just enter this data to flight management get system. Okay, now. When I enter arrival to flight management given system, my top of descent is changing. And now I should wait when I reach top of descent again. will open its live settings panel and I want to tell you about one usable thing 
You can enter any of aircraft number to this We are close field. to top of the sensor. And uh, for this aircraft, uh, the ground path uh, will show. You may turn on air map now. And you will see aircraft in the air around you. And you can change uh, the scale of this map and you will see the aircraft path. Of the aircraft full follow ATC airlines. Just start descending to flight level 110. Now we close about 15 nautical miles to arrival airport and should, should contact approach. So we have approach. It gives us the same runway 16 INS approach and we should be sent to flight level 60 with the same arrival. the salmon. We not so far deceleration point. We'll reach it soon. ATC say what we should descend to 5,000 feet and set this barrel uh, at transition flight level. I set a QNH to 1026. We reach five dozen feet. Approach phase activated. We clear it for ILS approach, runway 16, bring back, and we should report when intercept localizer. Report. Okay, continue approach, read back. Autopilot 2, cross check.
Speed check. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps two. Speed checked. Flaps three. Speed checked. Flaps full. Two thousand five hundred. Radio altimeter alive. Gear down. Spoilers arm. One thousand. ADC say what well, is time we should contact tower with back and you need to contact tower. We clear to land runway one six, wind copying. I see the runway, this is good.
300. This will be just an outer land. 200. Hundred above. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ground spoilers. The cell. Reverse green. Because I'm enter zero to selected aircraft number to seventy nine settings panel. I will see my aircraft's ground path. I should contact ground when located runway. Autopilot must be disengaged, sir. Contact ground about runway located. And we get a taxi row to our gate. I want to use I want to use follow me car again. Request follow me car. Okay, I see it. Flaps three, flaps two, flaps one, flaps zero. See some traffic aircrafts now. My gate is uh, a half forty six. I think this is stand, not gate. Okay, Richard, follow me car guys. Thank you, thank you very much. Our flights is over.
But let's look around. Park brake on. I would like to check on uh, show aircraft markers to see this aircraft number and I want to just enter this aircraft number to settings panel. This is aircraft ground path. And this is the aircraft list for departure and arrival at this airport. All what you see now uh, is not beta, is not alpha version, but this is developer version uh, for airport developers. It gives ability to check ATC roads. Uh, to compatible, how it compatible with XLife traffic plugin. This version built for Mac only this time. And I should note again what this version uh, may be used for demo flight between three uh, compatible airports, Munich, Wien and Nice. Goodbye, thank you very much for watching.